this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of my wonderful world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by this fellow who's jumping around downstairs. Can you guess who it is? I reckon it is Barack Obama. No, only joking, not only joking. I think that down there is Ronald McDonald. No, I think it is Elverly! Of course it's Elverly, as pretty much always uh, in uh, my Terraria videos. <laughs> and whoa, he looks very excited today. And of course he's excited because I'm about to read his joke. And he told me, before I started the video, that this is the best joke in the world ever. He said, if there is a joke funnier than this joke, he will eat his very own sunglasses. And so this has to be the best joke in all of the world, and it is. Why is uh why is a baseball team similar to a muffin? <laughs> I think I think just the question is good enough. Why is a baseball team similar to a muffin? Who would ever ask that? <laughs> they both depend on the batter. Ah, you see they have batter in a muffin and then the batter who hits the ball. <laughs> ah, dearly, ah oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, to tell you what, I think that might have been the best joke in the world. You don't need to eat your sunglasses. And uh, also, I don't want you eating your sunglasses because I don't want you to get a funny tummy because I need your help. And that's because we're going to carry on building the biome boxes. In the last episode, we were building... Wait for it. Wait for it. These big boxes are full of different biomes. So this is our snowy biome area. And then up here is our jungle biome. And I can't, <laughs> I can't get up. Come on. Nope. Nearly a little bit to the right. And there we go. Uh, up here, uh, this is my jungle biome in a box. Biome in a box. Biome in a box. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully the uh, the grass is going to carry on spreading here. And uh, this is going to be a proper little jungle. And uh, hopefully get a few trees spouting would be uh, pretty cool uh, if they're, they're able to fit in. And uh, we have two more that we need to build. We need to build a... Um, normal biome which is going to be kind of just like standard uh, the same as the ground and even though that might seem a bit boring and pointless uh, the reason i need to do that is because once i switch to hard mode uh, the uh, the corruption and uh, the uh, i think the hollow it's called is going to spread and so i might lose some of my normal land so i want to just make sure i have a bit saved in this case you know this is my insurance plan uh, but down here i am going to build a crimson and I'm going to do that by using all of these crimstone blocks uh, that I'm going to place around the outside here. And I've also got some some crimson sand as well. Crim sand is it called? Yeah, some crim sand blocks as well. And so I'm going to put a bit of that in as well, uh, just to add a bit of variety. And so uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think that uh, once we place this down, uh, we might even get a few of the googlies uh, that normally spawn in the crimson uh, spawning in here. And you'd think I wouldn't want that, uh, but I actually do. Uh, just because I don't have a crimson in my world, uh, I think it would be cool just for a, a bit of variety. Uh, uh, just to get uh, them spawning and so I can gather up what they drop because you either have a uh, corruption or a, a crimson when you spawn. And look at that. Look, when I jump, it's day. Then when I land, it's still dark. Day, dark, day, dark, day, dark. <laughs> oh, I could do that all day. Dark. Anyway, so let's go into <laughs> place the, uh, the rest of this sand in here. And then I'm going to carry on uh, putting some more of this uh, crimstone down. So knowing there's a little bit of a weird gap. Oh yeah, I also need to um, investigate to see what would be a good thing to place in the background. I wonder if you can do some some like crimstone walls would be pretty cool. Then I can have a, a very crimson looking uh, background as well would be pretty awesome. But I guess for now I can place all of this in. Oh, is it because is it because it thinks this is actually the crimson? Is that why it's actually um? Uh, actually change I think it is I think the game is actually thinking that this is a crimson because uh, there's all of these blocks here and so I think yeah look, as I go down the music changes and uh, it goes all dark and spooky ah oh, that is really cool that is really cool and also I did get uh, a few things spawning uh, inside of my snow biome uh, block as well inside of that box so uh, that is pretty cool it's good how the uh, it does almost kind of make the game think uh, that this area is actually uh, it's kind of the area you want it to be so I think we want to build up a little bit higher than this I'm going to fill this area in here with sand uh, there seemed to be quite a nice little gap for it there and maybe a bit more sand in here a nice little sand pit and then I'm going to go and fill all of this in here like you can see just how quickly it switches from like when I land and when I go up <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a little bit crazy. It's a bit like a disco. I don't like the music, though. It's kind of spooky music, isn't it, when you're in the uh, the Crimson? And uh, there's that little gap down there. Uh, that's because uh, in the uh, the real Crimson, you do have that. Actually, they're normally like um, big shafts, aren't they? Like just big, massive drops. Uh, so I might actually not have this like a cave. I might dig this down here. And God, it takes a while to break it, doesn't it? Yeah, I might dig this down here. And just have this as a, a straight drop. And so it's kind of like the uh, the chasms uh, that you normally get in like the uh, the crimson anyway. I think that might make it uh, a bit more realistic. So let me go and break all that away. Uh, but then I'm going to go and carry on uh, building up even higher around here. And oh no, I built that on the outside. My bad, my bad. And I don't actually have uh, too much of this left. I think uh, Lee has a, a little bit more on him. But I don't have too much left. So I can't. Uh, build this too high, but it doesn't matter. I don't want to build that high anyway I just want to uh, make it look like the crimson and uh, this is enough So this is enough to make the game think uh, that this kind of is a crimson and I think if I just had other blocks nearby uh, That this would start spreading anyway So uh, I could even if I wanted I think uh, just place down other blocks in here and then the crimson would just go and spread to them but hopefully uh, because it's here in this uh, glass, uh, it should be okay. And I'm actually uh, going to dig down a little bit. And uh, there's this little gap here. I'm going to go and fill this all in uh, with some of the uh, the crim sand, I think would be quite cool. And <laughs> thank you, Lee. Lee threw me his drill. I probably don't need it. I've dug down uh, anyway, but it's always good fun to use the drill anyway. I might use it uh, for a bit just for fun. So let me try and fill in under my feet here and uh, fill in all the way around here and uh, a little bit there. And uh, then I can go and fill all that in the, the top here. It does kind of look a, a little bit dark and scary down now here. And so, yeah, I think this should be about the top now. And so all I need to do is just make it look a little bit rougher, just so it's not uh, all completely flat like this. I might build up here a little bit, maybe do a little bit of crim sand on the uh, the surface, like uh, around here maybe, and a little bit up there. There you go, I think this looks okay. I think this uh, looks pretty cool. So this is my very own crimson in a cube. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know why anyone would want one of these, but yep, that is uh, what I've got now. And it will look... Uh, a lot better uh, once I, I'm able to do a background. Let me actually go and uh, look in a, uh, a crafting table, not a crafting table, a uh, workbench, sorry, and uh, see whether uh, there are any background walls I can make out of it. And do we have anything spawning in here? Nope, I don't think we've got anything spawning in here. I think at night uh, we might start getting some of the uh, the snow biome googly spawning, some of the, uh, the Eskimo zombies and things spawning in there. So let me just uh, magic mirror back to the home. Uh, to my house and uh, let me go to a workbench and see if I can make any 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 walls out of the uh, the crimstone So uh, where are the walls? They're gonna be in this panel and uh, around here. We go. These are the walls so I can make glass walls and so if uh, nothing else, at least I can make some some red glass wall. I can make tin brick wall, glass room walls. Uh, I could do some red brick walls. That might look quite cool for the uh, the crimson. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can make any ice or, um, uh, or any uh, crimson ones though. But I guess I could kind of have just red ones for the crimson and then just white ones for the, um, uh, the snow place. And oh, I know what I need to do in the snow place. I need to go in here. And I need to put in some... Oh, we can put these lights in as well. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Right, I'm going to put some of these coloured lights in. And I'm going to put in some of the uh, the candy cane as well. Because that will look amazing, won't it? <laughs> oh, cool. It's going to be like my own little winter wonderland. So let me go and uh, grab some of this candy cane. There's also candy cane wall as well that you can put in the background. And oh, yeah, I do have some snow brick wall as well. So I can maybe try and make some more of that. And uh, put that in the, uh, the background. Uh, but also while I'm here... Uh, I want to go and try and grab uh, a whole load of dirt uh, so I can go and try and fill up the uh, the last biome square. So uh, let's go and gather up a whole load of this. Uh, 1,000 should be uh, more than enough. And what else? Well, I need to plant some trees as well. So let me go and grab some acorns. I need some grass seeds as well. Not jungle grass seeds, uh, just normal grass seeds. And I think I buy them uh, from Felicity. Uh, so let me go shop at Felicity and let's go buy some of these. Uh, let's just buy as many as I can afford. Whoop. Okay, I totally didn't need 40. That is way more than I needed, but <laughs> oh well, I'll take it. And uh, let's go and try and start making the next one. Well, let's go and uh, finish off the... Um uh, the snow area first, shall we? Because uh, I think that's going to look amazing once I put all of these uh, lights in. <laughs> and uh, then I also uh, need to start thinking about an easy way to get in and out of them. Having these uh, little gaps uh, doesn't work very well. And that looks cool. I love the jungle one because you've got all the, uh, the jungle plants there spawning. Um, yeah, we're going to need to work out a way to have doors. I think what I could do is like just choose a gap here. And I could maybe make glass doors here. And then I could maybe have a little platform going between them. And so I have another glass door on the other side about here. I think that will uh, do for now. So I think that needs to go a bit higher there. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's just have it like this for now. Uh, until we work out another way of doing it. And you know what, Lee? I think I want more. 
I think I want more of them. I think I want like a desert one and then I can have another one as well. Maybe a corruption one possibly or maybe even like a jungle one fill it full of water. So shall we build um, another two more on top of these two? Uh, but I actually think that the uh, the two top ones are actually a little bit shorter than the other ones. And look, we had a man eater spawn. Yay! Proper jungle wildlife. Something that's going to try and eat us. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, I think you need to, um, if you extend these two a little bit, uh, just to make sure they're definitely 40 blocks high, the two top ones. And then if you want me, uh, you can start building the uh, the next one as well. And uh, I've got plenty of glass on me. So if you want some glass, uh, just run up to me and start jumping up and down and I'll throw you some. Yep, Lee wants some of my glass. So let me go and uh, get a big stack of it and uh, throw it to Lee, and uh, then he can go and uh, begin work on the other ones. Actually, tell you what, I'll take this little amount, because uh, you're going to need more than me, and you can have all of that. And so while he's doing that, I'm going to go and carry on building in here. So I'm going to try and do uh, the lights going uh, along the top here. I need to kind of uh, avoid the, uh, the ice a bit, I guess, uh, but I'm just going to have... Uh, let's just do red along here for a bit and uh, then I'm going to go and do uh, some of the, the green uh, along here like this and then I'm going to do a bit of the, the blue along like in this area and then just yeah, switch going through then going back to red. I'm not really working this out exact but to be honest I'm not bothered. I don't care so let's go and do a few more red ones along uh, to about where that uh, next ice shard is and then I'm going to go and do green as well. Uh, long to about let's do one more and then I'm just going to do blue uh, until the end like that so when it gets dark uh, these little lights uh, should hopefully uh, all start lighting up I can't remember if you needed to power them or not hopefully you don't uh, but also I'm going to go and build some very big candy canes and just do uh, some big towers of these uh, going up so uh, let's do a nice big red one uh, coming out of the ground around about here maybe uh, so this can go up like this and uh, if I jump up like this I can make it a little bit taller and then if I go, I can't place it there, but if I do that and that, and then break away the middle one, ta-da, my very own candy cane. <laughs> and let's go and do a uh, a green one uh, from here. And it's going to be facing the uh, the opposite direction, uh, just to make it look a little bit different. Uh, so let's once again do the, the same way I did it. So I want to go like that, that, and that, and then just break away the, the middle one. And uh, then let's go and do, uh, let's just do one more uh, big red one up this way. And I think this will be okay. I can save the uh, the rest of the, uh, the candy cane uh, in case I need it for something else in the future. So uh, let me go and place all of this in here and then break away the middle. There we go. This is more like a winter wonderland now. This is amazing. I really love this. <laughs> Much more than the, uh, the crimson anyway, which is kind of a little bit disgusting. But that's the point of it, I guess. <laughs> that's the point of it. Anyway, uh, let me now go and head up uh, here uh, to uh, this big box. And uh, let me go and start trying to uh, to fill this big area in full of dirt. So firstly, uh, let me go and fill the, uh, the bottom in. And uh, this one's going to be quite standard. Like, this one would be quite boring, uh, but I could try and make it look quite pretty. If I had lots of trees in here and, uh, and a little pond as well, uh, it could uh, actually make it look uh, pretty cool. And so it'd be nice to have. Maybe put some sunflowers in here. Maybe just fill it full of plants, yeah? This one can just be full of all of the different type of plants that I could grow. And then this way will, won't be uh, as, um, yeah, won't be quite as boring as it would be otherwise. Otherwise, it's just going to literally be a big box of dirt. <laughs> and unless you're Jack Sparrow, I don't think you're going to be happy with a big box of dirt. <laughs> or a jar of dirt in the case, in his case. <laughs> all right, let's break away the, uh, the few random bits of glass here. And uh, this one under my feet. And oh, watch out for falling glass. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go and try and fill all of this in. And uh, I'm just going to have it completely filled in with dirt until I get to the, uh, the top. Then I'm going to leave a little gap uh, where I'm going to fill it in with water. And then I can go and get all of my buckets and uh, go and make myself uh, my own little pond in here. And so, yeah, then all I need to do is have a, uh, a corruption one and uh, then a desert one above me. I think I might just try and make one for every different biome. Like, I think I've done all of the main useful ones. And look, oh, look, look, I do. Look, I got a crimson. I got a crimson guy. I got a, I was a Crimera, Crimera or something that was flying around. Ah, oh, this is amazing. This was such a good idea to do this. <laughs> and uh, because they're in glass... Uh, that will make them safe so that uh, when I switch to hard mode, uh, then the uh, the corruption and things uh, won't actually be able to, to spread to them. Uh, so all these biomes will be safe. So I know that no matter what, even if the uh, the rest of my world gets uh, like completely overrun, uh, then I at least have these uh, little refuges uh, where I have a, a decent amount uh, of all of the uh, the different type of biomes, so I can uh, gather up the uh, the loot that I can get. And I don't know, it's just it's just nice that uh, even though I don't have a proper snow snow biome, I kind of have like a, a little artificial one in a big cube in the sky. <laughs> I might even 
try and do like a a weird pattern between them. I could I could decorate them by doing a strange pattern between all of the uh, the big cubes and kind of make it look like they're being held up by them. And look, I've got a, a jungle slime spawned in here. Not a jungle slime, sorry, just a, a green slime spawned in here. So at least I know that things can can spawn in here. And there's a harpy outside there really trying to get to me. The man-eater as well is reaching as far as he can. You're not going to get me. Oh, what's this? Oh, this isn't a man-eater. It's a dragon snatcher. What's a dragon snatcher? I don't think I've ever seen one of them before. Unless I haven't, I just thought it was a man. He told Lee just bounced on his head, though. <laughs> I think he tried to take it out Mario style there. <laughs> oh, dear. So uh, let's go and uh, try and fill in the rest here. And I guess I should start working out where the river's going to be. Uh, there seems to be uh, quite a nice drop there. Uh, so I think I might leave that like that. And uh, then that's going to be where the uh, where the river's going to be. So it's not going to be too big because it would take ages to fill up otherwise. But just a, a little patch of water. Kind of similar uh, to what I have in my bedroom. I have that little uh, that little pond down there. I'll probably do something similar here. So let me just go and uh, fill all of this area in here. It can kind of dip down a little bit here as well anyway. And so yeah, this is where I'm going to fill it full of water. And uh, is it the same height on both sides? Uh, yep, I think it is. I think this is uh, pretty much perfect. So all I need to do now is uh, go and start throwing down uh, a few of my grass seeds. So let's just go and put a whole load of them around. Um, yeah, th this is just basically going to spread absolutely uh, all over the place around here and uh, fill it all in uh, full of grass. So I don't need this many uh, because, as I said, it's going to spread anyway. Uh, but seeing as I got 40 of them, <laughs> I might as well speed up the process and put a few down. I'm also going to put some, some torches down. Uh, because it's getting darker, uh, just so I can see what I'm doing. And I could also uh, put down some ac acorns and hope that some some trees are going to start growing. So uh, eventually I think I might change this so it's not torches. I hope I might put down some tiki lamps and stuff uh, just to make it look better. Uh, but yeah, let's just go and put down uh, a few acorns, an acorn there and an acorn there. And uh, let's go and put one down on this side. I don't know if, uh, I don't know whether the trees will grow in here, uh, but hopefully they will. And now I can have my own little my own little woods down here. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go and see uh, how well Lee's doing, shall we? Ah, okay. Uh, you can see that he's extended these uh, to make them bigger. So hopefully uh, they're going to be the uh, the same size as the ones underneath. So let's give him a hand. Let's go and uh, break away some of this glass down here. Because uh, we need to get rid of this, otherwise it's going to look a little bit weird. And uh, then I'm going to make a little doorway uh, so I can get from this area uh, into the uh, the jungle area as well. And look at that thing going after me. What's that thing called? Uh, it won't actually let me see what it's called. It's really after me, though. It really wants to go after me. I know that when you build high, uh, there's some bosses and things that spawn uh, when you're high up. So we might have to, to worry about that when we switch to hard mode. But for now, uh, let's not worry about it. <laughs> right, so I want to have the doorway a little bit higher. Because uh, the jungle seems to go a bit higher. So let's go uh, up to here and maybe break away here. And uh, this can be where the doorway is. And uh, then all I need to do is go and build some glass along like this. Let's take up this thing finally. There we go. Finally took it out. And so let's build this along to here. And uh, then I actually I might do it one lower. Uh, then that way it links up a little bit nicer. So uh, actually I could just put some more mud down here at some point. Uh, but for now I think this is okay. So I can now easily uh, get between the jungle area and then the, uh, the normal area uh, as well. So let me see if I can go and fill up some water shall we. Uh, how well is Lee doing? Lee's doing a really good job building that cube and uh, that is where we're going to put the the desert biome and i already have absolutely loads of sand gathered up so we should be uh, able to to make that one very quickly but uh, first let me go and try and find my buckets and uh, i can't remember where i left my buckets they're going to be in one of these chests i keep trying to keep these chests organized uh, but i don't do a very good job here we go here are three buckets <laughs> that's a, a decent start uh, none in here uh, they won't be in these chests. These are generally full of random things, these chests here. I know I have lots of them, though. I know I do have lots of buckets somewhere. They might actually still be filled with lava and in my, my area up here near where my hell forge is. They might actually be uh, in this chest here, possibly. Uh, let me go in and have a look. Uh, oh, here we go. 19 buckets of lava. Okay. This is where my buckets are. They are full of lava, though. Uh, we might need to dispose of the lava somewhere before we go <laughs> and fill them up with water. I guess I could use it just to um just to get some obsidian, I guess. Uh, if I go uh, down here, I could pour the, um, the lava into the water, and then that's going to make obsidian. So then I can gather that up, and then I'll have all of my empty buckets, uh, which I can use to fill them with... Um, uh, fill them with uh, with water and so there's a lake down here so if can I just fill it up here uh, can I go and just place it down I think there we go I can place it in the the air like that and uh, then it's all just going to drop down and then that's just going to make a, a whole load of obsidian uh, there we go dropping down there and obsidian is very useful I probably don't want to drop down yet because there's still lava all over the place <laughs> let's go and uh, break away some of this obsidian now then and go and start gathering it up if we can as if I go break it away 
And it's just going to keep making more obsidian uh, as the uh, as the lava and the, the water meet. And uh, there we go. It's almost uh, clear enough for me to, to go and stand on it. And there's a poor zombie stuck down there as well. <laughs> Let's go and gather up any of the obsidian that may have dropped. And uh, here we go. I can now go and fill up uh, all of these buckets full of water. So I got 22 buckets there. You can see how much is actually making the entire lake sink down. <laughs> just by filling it up with little buckets that I'm putting in my pocket. And uh, I think I need to kind of go up around the outside. However, I'm going to bang my head on some of those bridges. And although I can't fit around that side, I'm really I'm really taking up a, a large amount of my world here, aren't I? Let me have a look at the map. I've not really seen it yet. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. And it's just little tiny, just little tiny sections of different biomes. That looks really cool. And I can't wait until I've linked them all up properly and lit them all up. And this is, this is going to look really good. And let me just try and uh, make my way up here. If I grab all up here. And uh, let me go and try and fill in that, that lake. Now look, I've got a jungle bat. I'm getting jungle animals spawning. I haven't had anything, um, anything spawn in here yet. And none of the, uh, the trees have grown. But uh, that doesn't really matter because that's just the normal biome. This place is just full of harpies. It's, I think it's because we built so high. Uh, we're going to get lots and lots of harpies up there. But uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, they should hopefully be uh, kept out uh, by the, the glass wall. So for now, uh, let me go and place down all of this water and try and fill up my, my little lake. Uh, I think that should be enough. I think that I think that looks nice uh, the uh, the way it is. So what else could I put in here? Uh, I could add some tiki torches and some things as well. I was going to add lots of plants, wasn't I? I was going to add uh, a lot more plants down there. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode here, but we've made uh, some amazing progress in the last two episodes. And in the next episode, uh, we're going to carry on doing the same. We're going to decorate uh, these biomes a little bit more and then go up here and uh, try and fill in these these big queues up here as well. And I don't fancy going in there, to be honest. It looks rather dangerous. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this episode here. I want to say a big thank you to Lee for helping me and a big thank you uh, to all of you for watching. But for now, I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!